this is a slightly longer class. And again, you're gonna let me exit out of this. Block leaves. It's called leaves. I did it leaf. Blockium leaf. I don't know why I did leaf, like one leaf. But basically you're gonna want to copy this whole class also. Just copy it. And you're gonna paste it into your new class, which mine is block blockium leaf. Don't forget to rename your um whatever it is so it's not block leaves. Don't forget to rename your class and your constructor. And don't forget it's supposed to extend block leaves base, not block. It has to extend block leaves base. That's what gives it the properties of like dropping when whatever. Just make sure it's block leaves base. Now keep all of these and I commented out a bunch of stuff in here what we what we're not gonna need. So base index and PNG, again this is just setting like the base texture and you can comment that out or you can just get rid of it because it's not needed we're putting in a custom texture this get block color now this is uh, just okay just uh... comment out this return colors colorizer foliage just comment it out and then you're going to want to return zero that's pretty much means like what other color do you want on there and it still doesn't work. Like I'm not really sure about the coloring of the leaves yet. Like I haven't really gone into that. I was more into like the spawning leaves. So if you guys want, you can mess around with this and figure out how to like get your wanted colors. Because I don't. I have no clue. So uh, yeah, you're gonna just want to type in a return zero. Now for the next one, uh, uh, get render color. I just commented this out because it's an unnecessary method since. Um, we're not using this right here so it's it's an unneeded method because we're not using that so this pretty much determines like pine birch basic this pretty much return is like like the shade of green that you want in your tree because this is just this is was was just a default tree they don't have different classes for different trees so you can just go ahead and comment out this class it's fine next the color multiplier now this like I say in the comments here, I'm not sure about this method, but it messes up your foliage color. But you also cannot, um, I don't think you can comment it out. Let me check, actually. Cause I, have, I don't know why I haven't tried this. Let's go ahead and save and see if it works. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I've tried changing it. I haven't tried, actually. Wow, that actually worked. All right, that is weird. Okay, I guess uh, I guess the trees fully work now. So, um, let me just uh, delete these comments then, and just write um, unnecessary method messes up your custom texture like I said these because Minecraft does not have um, different classes for different kinds of trees this pretty much determines like oh if it's in this biome make it this shade of green and stuff like that but we don't care about that because we have a custom texture and a custom class so just go ahead and get rid of get render color and color multiplier because that's just gonna mess you up next um, on block removal again we have this mob blocking and blocking leaf. You want to change that in from a normal leaf to your own leaf. I kept the comments right here so you know it's like it stands out so you know to replace that. Update tick. Leave that the same, but right here again, log. I guess I should start doing that. So this is log and this is leaf. Let me go up here. This is leaf. Just replace those with your own values. Uh, this all this is just keep it the same don't, don't really worry about that now here is a little thing I guess so we haven't gotten the saplings just yet but when we will this is gonna become really important and also if you want your tree to drop fruit this is pretty important so um, in our quantity dropped there's this little this line of code but it's probably a 20 for you guys so we have this line of code now what this means, I actually try to explain it right here, is this number, it's pretty much 1 over that number, whatever you put in there, that's the chance of something dropping. 
Now, um, I don't know how to really explain this, but yeah, it's a pretty much a chance of something dropping. So if we have a 20 right here, there's a 1 in 20 chance that something will drop. And that something is whatever down is down here, but we're not going to get to that just yet. So I made an example here. So if you made a 2, just 2, something would drop at a 50% chance. Now, the default is, I think, 20. So you have a 1 in 20%, like 1 in 20 chance, so 5% chance, to get... Um, to get a sapling on a normal tree. So right here, this I explained this a little more down here. So what this does is it gets a random number from 0 to 19. It's actually like it's 20 random numbers, but it's from 0 to 19. And what it checks for if if the 0 is not, I mean if the number is not a 0, not equal to 0, then I mean it doesn't do anything. But if the number like if if the number is equal to zero, so right here, if the number is equal to zero, it drops one thing. Now, if you want to go ahead and change this to like 64, so if you change this to 64, this would drop 64 saplings at once, and for our for our context, it would drop 64 cookies at once. But you're gonna to want to keep that as one if you know if it's a normal tree, just keep it as one. It's it's just normal. So we can go ahead and make our cookies um, a lot less rare. So let's just make it five. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the next thing is ID dropped. Yeah, I think everybody gets that class. I I try to explain in the comments, but whatever. So the next thing is ID dropped. Now this is what drops uh, whenever you break a leave. Now leaves. Now like I did before up here. There's only a 20% chance right now that something will drop. So when it passes through that, it will drop either it will drop the cookies. Now we saw in our other classes, I think it was um, our mob class, that you can actually create it so another random variable. So we have a random up here, another random variable that will tell us like, okay, there's a 20% chance that this will drop. There's there's a 50% chance that this will drop. So you can actually create it so there's a 20% chance and then you can make it another 20% chance. So every like overall around every five leaves you will break, you will receive one cookie. Now this is what it says. You could also make it like every five leaves you break, there's an 80% chance you'll get a cookie and a 20% chance you might get a sapling. So you know that's how you can that's how you can bind um, probability with that and a bunch of random variables and like I said we did this in the previous tutorials I'm pretty sure it was the mob tutorial I showed you how to drop different things but this also adds a probability so it doesn't drop it at all times this adds a probability that it won't drop the same item all the time that's pretty much how it works um, yeah before it was block sapling but we haven't gotten the saplings yet so when, once we do I'll remember to change this so maybe like there's going to be like a 5% chance of getting a block game cookie and a 95% chance of getting a sapling. So, um, again, if we look down here, what is it? Okay, this is harvest block, so this is when you harvest it with shears. And I'll actually show you this because I made a debugging uh, recipe for shears. Um, you'll just get blocking leaf again. You just want to. I left a comment here to like to show you guys, but you just want to replace that with your leaf. Damage drop, leave that alone. Opac cube, leave that alone. Here, uh, you're gonna see. You're probably gonna see this. I think that's the default one. Just go ahead and get rid of that. So it'll just it's just gonna return a custom texture. Um, right here again, set graphics level. You're gonna want to. This just it's just messing with your graphics. It's just messing with your texture. So go ahead and comment this out. It is not needed. It'll just mess you up. And I mean that's that's our block blocking leaf. Wow, it's already 21 minutes into the tutorial already. This is gonna be a long one. Probably a three parter, but I think it's worth it. I don't know. You guys have been asking for this. Um alright. So we have that. We have our log and leaf done. Now what we're going to want to do is go into our world generation. Now this is this is fairly easy. So go ahead and open up your world gen. 
and there should be a class called world gen trees right here world gen trees so again you're gonna have to copy and paste this so just copy the whole class make a new class called world gen uh, I call them blocking tree so go ahead and do that and paste it paste the code in here now you might see that this has a um, boolean constructor and it has something in the uh, super constructor so we're gonna get rid of that and we're just gonna give it an empty constructor because that's just unnecessary I don't r I forgot what it does I just I looked it up like an hour ago and I forgot what it does but it's unnecessary so just make this an empty constructor no parameter being passed in and nothing done in the body next thing you're gonna see the generate function or method and you're gonna wanna keep it exactly the same Oh, wait, I got a phone call. I'll be right back.